Can you say yeah, sure. Name? My name is Pauline Black. I'm lead singer of The Selector. Brilliant. My name is Gap Sendrickson. I'm also lead you singer, singer of, of The Selector. <laughs> Great, okay. So, uh, just a quick question uh, to get started. What do you think of Jersey so far? Oh, Jersey looks very, very nice. You know, I mean, we haven't seen that much of it. We flew in, we went to the hotel, we could see the sea from the end of the road, and that's it, really. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, Jersey always reminds me of a hol holiday isle. Yeah. But I'm not so sure. Um, because, I mean, you go all over the British Isles and you see all these shops and you think, hmm, but, um, you know, yeah. yeah, it's quite nice, Jersey. Okay. Yeah. Lovely we weather. We want to see a Jersey cow. <laughs> okay. Well, you're in the right area for I one. Know. Apparently they bring their milk here or something. Yeah, yeah, you brought, yeah the dairy's just over there. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, so you're playing Jersey Live. Uh, what can we expect from a selector set on the uh, Jersey Live stage? Well... From a selector set, all the hits, and yeah. um, and then some other stuff. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's it includes um, like uh, 35 years we've been going. Yeah. You know, so um, there'll be um, songs um, over that sort of period. Yeah. Uh, you've you've been making music uh, and playing for for a long time. How do you think the industry's changed in the last uh, 30 years or so? How do I think it's changed? I think that it's a lot more of a level playing field for artists these days. Um, particularly women as well. I mean, there are far more, you know, female artists around and making their own music and doing their own thing, and that's got to be a good thing. Um, and also, I think it's rather good that people are becoming reacquainted with reggae and with ska music. Do you uh, do you still write? Do you still uh, create new music? Of course we do. We have, we've got um, two albums out, two albums out at the moment, and the live one, which is well, if you count that one, is three. So and uh, uh, most uh, the, the the two albums that we did are studio albums and yeah they they are um, what we've created from since we got back together. Fantastic. Do you still enjoy the writing process? Yeah, we did Made in Britain in 2012 and we did String Theory in 2013 and at the moment we're midway through a new album called Subculture which will be out next year and uh, we'll be touring in support of that. Are you uh, a band that that sort of write in set time frames or is it sort of as music comes to you? No, you have to write to a certain degree in set time frames. You have to have some discipline about it. Otherwise, it's, you know, when, when you're very, very young, you can do that because uh, you, you haven't really made a career. You're not a name in that way. And, um, but, I mean, once you're starting planning a year and, and you've got to fit writing in between touring and all those kind of things and the festival season, you have to have some discipline about it. So we always know where we're going. Do you, do you think there's more pressure on you as an established artist, as a, as a name, to, to get the album right to get it to a certain sound well, i think just as a musician there's pressure yeah. isn't there yeah i mean, I mean you've got to be pleased with what with what you um put down you know yeah. and um yeah there, there's certainly an amount of um, pressure in a way you know to come up yeah. with something new and original yeah. but i mean you know we um for the 35 years we've been going we find it quite um quite uh, quite well not challenging but yeah. you know it's challenging in a way but it's quite fun as well to um like when we knock heads together and sort out something. Do you, uh, when you sit down and you're, you're putting the songs together and you're, because you're working on another album, uh, are there songs that you think, ah, it doesn't really fit our sound, but you really like them and you, you want to do something different? Yeah, we have one at the moment, which is exactly like that. Um, but I mean, you, 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 you keep working on a song until it either fits or it doesn't fit. Um, yeah, we have probably about 15 songs at the moment we have to cull it down to either 10 or 12 something like that so you just have to be fairly ruthless about it and and, and finally you're saying you know uh, all the hits on the stage do you, do you feel a real pressure to make sure that the hits go out there or or do you, do you sort of feel a, a desire to go and play the new stuff uh, well we do play new stuff anyway but I mean I think it would be doing a disservice to fans of the selector if we were just to play entirely new stuff and particularly at a festival it's different at a festival yeah. because a lot of the audience they don't know us so you know but they will know their way through to us through the hits if you're playing your own shows of course you can do an entire set of your okay. you know, album can't you yeah, yeah. all right that's that's brilliant thank you very very much